about your new film? Most likely to die. It's like a throwback slasher of the 80s and 90s. Mm -hmm. um, centered around a high school graduation reunion where a group of friends who haven't seen each other in a long time get together and there's of course someone there to seek a little revenge on them one by one. So it's another one of our good slashers that we're screening this weekend. Of course, you have a lot of slashers this year. Yeah, but it seems to be the, the Vogue, it's that and the Final Girl thing. There's lots of Final Girl and Yeah. So the slashers are coming back. Yeah. They? So that's cool. You've got a great cast. Take us through the cast. Uh, Heather Morris from Glee is in it, who was just uh, excellent to work with. Um, mm -hmm. Come from a da uh, dancer background, so she's great. Physically, yep, with the yep. action stuff. She's terrific in the film. So. Yeah, she did a great job. And then <clears throat> Jake Busey, yep. which was uh, brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. I mean, to work with Jake, it's like an extension of his father as well. And I th mm -hmm. he was like, he's like, I'm doing my dad in this movie. <laughs> he's like, I've never done that before, and I'm going to do it in this one. <laughs> um, and then you know, the wild card was Perez Hilton. Oh who, my god! <laughs> who I know here just has a why? special. Why? Why Perez Hilton? Well, you know, it, our the producers came to me. They're like, we, you know, it, there's this trend in Hollywood, you know, at least independently, like yeah. the YouTube generation, which he's, I guess, of. But you know, he yeah. he started as a, a blogger and such. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, they're looking for that because you get such a wide audience with it mm. in, in that generation. So. They were like, well, what about Perez Hilton? I was like, well, okay. Well, he kind of started an empire on his own. He's not like yeah. just some YouTube person. Have you acted before? Had Perez done yeah. anything before? He did. Um, he actually went to school for, you know, university for, mm. for acting. Mm. And he had been in like a horror film. Uh, Which a one? Uh, like a lot of years ago. Right. Before our time. <laughs> when he was a, really? when when he was a baby. Done. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't. It was like a, a campfire tales or something. Okay. It was like some kind of anthology film, mm -hmm. but um, but he was great in it. He was yeah, so maybe, very committed. Because everyone's expecting you, you know. Well, yeah, I think <laughs> like, what, what? 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 when they see him, they they <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a bit of stunt casting. Like he's he's kind of known over here, but he, he's yeah. on the celebrity Big Brother thing, sure, which he didn't really come out infamously well from. Yeah, but, um, yeah. <laughs> um, so when it, when we announced the movie, they were like, "What? What?" But, yeah, but he delivers. He's fine in it. You know, yeah, so. people just assume he's going to be like the first to go. And yeah, well, maybe yeah. he is. But now we had the world premiere the other day at Fry Fest. How did it pl play? Very good. I feel you know it's a nice crowd and uh, enthusiastic. Great yeah. Q and A after. You've been to Fry Fest quite a few times over the years. We had you for Clive Barker's Dread. Didn't yeah, we? and before Way that, I was here for Midnight Meat Train, which oh I didn't direct, but I was yes. a producer. Midnight Meat Train, and then you did uh, Missionary. Yes, God, and then Last Shift, which Last I wasn't Shift. here. And we did another one. So there was one other one of yours. Casadega played in Glasgow. In Glasgow, Fest, Glasgow. Yeah. So we've done every single one of your films. Yeah, and they've all delivered. I mean, they they all. Well, you said, keep asking me back. So. I know, and we do. We look at every film on its. We obviously, if we love the director, we look on it with a glad eye. But every one of them are chosen because we actually really love each of your movies. All right, so I'll take your word. Congratulations. For Thank you. I'm not lying. No, to I'm you. not. Well, I'm not lying when I tell everyone this is my favorite festival. Oh, it, just, it, it that's, has like. That's why you brought me cigarettes. Yeah, exactly. I, I, maybe it's because people are drunk more often here, but you know, right. it's a camaraderie thing. Yeah. You get here and you just feel like you're part of the family. You are. You are one of the family. You're one yeah, of the exactly. Fright Fest family. Um, like what's it. next? What's next for us, for you? <clears throat> well, I'm actually doing another film with Mar Vista, who I just did most likely to mm. die with, and it's uh, more of a Hitchcockian thriller. Ah, okay. Uh, like a older cast. Have you got a title for it yet or not? Yeah, working title. Which is it is actually originally called, called Bloodlines, but Bloodlines. Uh, then we had this Netflix show in the, the mm. States that came out with the same title, so we're going to change it. And have you got any cast lined up for that or not? No, we just started casting. So okay. Got some so nice watch names this space around. for next year, maybe. I if we so. like it. If we don't yeah. like it, it's, you know. If it's no favors, mate. Nope. <laughs> well, mate, mate. I'll get you more cigarettes. That sounds like a deal. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. All, All right, right, man. Thanks a lot.